We all know it takes forever for our website to get on to the first page of Google, if it ever does. And it's only getting worse with the way Google is doing things and their changes. And I think we're gonna have to take a different approach to building these online businesses than we have in the past. In the past, we were able to just do keyword research, look at the competition, get a good estimate on if we're going to be able to rank for these terms based off of competing websites authority the way they're covering the topic how well they've done it the other websites ranking like if there were forums on the page it meant easier competition things like that a lot of that's changed and it's going to continue to change because of ai now the way I, i'm doing things and the way i recommend other people do things is to put social media first and use it to get quicker feedback on uh, your business idea or your, your niche. What we're ultimately doing is looking for a way to do proof of concept and we wanna see how the topic makes us feel. And the way I recommend going about this would be to make 10 videos on the subject that you're thinking about getting into, whatever that might be. And I don't recommend uploading those videos. Upload them eventually, but don't upload them until you have 10 recorded. And the reason I say this is because it's a lot less work. And when you're setting up the camera to talk and create content, it's really gonna let you know if this is the right topic for you if this is a topic you're truly interested in. Because if you struggle to even do your first 10 videos, ideas, and you don't find it fun, if it's kind of a chore, you really are gonna know quickly if you should be changing topic. And it's way cheaper to do it this way than any other way. Don't buy a domain name yet if you're not sure. Don't uh, invest in anything at all. 99.9% .9 of us have a smartphone. Prop it up, maybe get to a small tripod, prop it up, record with your phone. Don't even have to go get an external mic, a lav mic, nothing like that. And just see how those videos come out um, and how you feel internally about the topic after doing 10 of those videos. After those 10, take them. If, you, if you're good with the topic, then go register your YouTube channel, you know, get it going. Do you have to do the domain name yet? No, you don't. You could really, honestly, you could just wait on the domain name until you have a thousand subscribers or until you're monetized. But if you have the spare 10 bucks, 12 bucks, go ahead and register it because that domain name is important if you want it to match your brand. But um, don't waste money that you don't have to waste. And remember that your first several videos won't be your best. I think. You know, even this channel here is up to 30 videos and I'm still figuring it out. What I want to post about on here, the topics I want to cover, things like that, the format. You know, I'm still figuring it out as well. But um, what I do know is compared to building a website, the investment and time, especially the time investment, proving if the idea is suitable for you and something you want to do for years, you can lose a whole lot of time, a whole lot of money, especially time if you're writing everything yourself on the websites, if you choose the wrong topic. Social media is much quicker to proof of concept. When I say proof of concept, I do not mean, oh, I got a thousand subs quickly. I got a lot of comments. I got a lot of views. That's not what I mean. What I mean is how you feel about the topic because most topics, there's an audience out there. Sometimes it's not that big of an audience, but there's an audience and most topics you can make a living from. Uh, it's just figuring out who your audience is and creating content for that audience. But after making 10 videos, you should have a rough idea um, if it's gonna work for you. And I think as business owners and creators and people looking to make money online, starting a YouTube channel, starting a TikTok, it's going to be the way you have to go from now on. Even if the websites, say Google reverts a lot of their changes and goes back to the way it was before helpful content update and Reddit being number one on everything and AI on top of everything and blah, blah, blah. I still wouldn't go back to the way I was doing websites before. I would only do social media first and start it off that way. I just, I think that is the path forward. Let me know what you think about doing social media before SEO. To me, that is key. It's, it's quicker feedback on ways to test things. It's just gonna be a better way to start and launch your business. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.